internet people. I'd like to say super quick, I know that my AC is a noisy son of a gun, but man, it's been hot. It's been real hot. So I don't really have like a, I don't know. Don't know what else to say about that other than sorry, it's loud. Hey, look at this. This is a package. I'm really excited about what's inside here. So let's open it up and see what I got. Um, if the title hasn't already given that away for you. All right, so here's my package. Uh, basically, if the title hasn't already ruined what this is for you, um, get excited because we're about to find out. Um, this is the first time I've ever ordered from this website and uh, it's bullying exchanges. I've never ordered from them before, but they had a pre-sale on these. It was the only pre-sale I could find. Maybe I was too late for the other ones or something. But yeah, very cool. So I don't know, so far my experience has been good with bullying exchanges, I guess, because this is as far as I've gotten. Uh, things seem to be packaged all right. This is just a giant tube of bubbles, um, which as we all know, uh, provide a decent protection whilst in transit. Okay. Man, how am I gonna open this without something sharp? Man, listen to those bubbles. Okay, fine, I'll get something sharp here back. All right, I got a shiny knife here. Let's try not to hurt ourselves. I need a real knife. I've never owned a real knife before though. Isn't that weird? I mean, whoa! <laughs> All right. Got it. You know, I've, I've been out of college for what, five, five years now? Almost four years, five years? Four years. And I don't, I don't, I've never even owned a knife. What, what is this? All right, guys, cool bag, right? You could probably tell what this is. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so this is year number two. These originally started in 2016, um, and this is the 2017 version. And I'm noticing immediately that they have not fixed the um, complaint that a lot of people had about the 2016 version. I'll let you in on that little secret here in a second. But holy moly, these things are sick. Oh my gosh, okay, these things are so neat. Let's see if we can uh, focus here. I'll show you the back first because that's what we're already on. You can see down there it says KOMSCO. This is the uh, South Korean mint, basically. And then you can see there it says AG on their little security feature. Isn't that cool? And if you look at it this way, it'll say 999. That is brilliant. That's so awesome. Such a good security feature. I don't know how hard that is to replicate because I've never tried to counterfeit before <laughs> but I imagine that's pretty hard and look if you move it around yeah okay so now let's get a bigger look at this basically that kind of uh, that background if you look the field there is almost like it was painted on there you know like that's the kind of texture that they went with Republic of Korea 2017 fine silver three nines fine I love this texturized stuff there. Then you got this big shield mask looking thingy in the middle. And then here it says one clay. Now that's what I was talking about earlier when I mentioned um, there were a lot of complaints about the 2016 coin. And that is that they used this term one clay. And from I'm not an expert, but from what I understand, clay is not a unit. It is not a currency, it is not a denomination, but it is instead kind of a placeholder word that is used to describe a unit. So this is like, um, this is pretty much saying one, um, like they don't know what unit they were supposed to use. So instead they used clay and, and clay should be used in order to describe the unit itself, which would then subsequently be listed, but it's not. That's kind of confusing, I know, but just know that one clay doesn't mean anything. It's an illogical sentence, basically. Um, so yeah, they got a lot of feedback, like a lot of uh, heat, if you will, for doing that. Um, and it, it turns out that they liked how it, how it was, or maybe they disagreed that it wasn't logical. And so they kept it that way, which whatever, I think it's super cool. 
let's finally look at the front. I know you guys are dying to, t to see. This is the 2017 Chiwu. Um, in this one, he is riding a horse with that huge pike thingy, holding the same shield that was on the back. Kind of looks like a mask, but it's actually a shield. They have this cool painted on background looking thing. He's got this huge cloak cape thing that comes all the way to the outside rim here. Overall, the design on this coin is absolutely stunning. Um, look at this cool helmet and stuff. But yeah, Chiwu Qianwang. Um, that's what this coin is. I'm extremely excited to have these. And so I, I know I say I'm a weight stacker and that's all I want is weight, but there are definitely things that get me um, very excited that are coins, you know, um, or rounds even, or whatever. There are things that I want to collect because it makes me giddy, you know, not just because it weighs a lot. So this is one of those examples. I purchased three this time because I know they will go up in price. At least I think they do, they will. The 2016s are already at $100. Um, if these go up in price, I want to get rid of one. You know, pretty quick flip, get rid of one. And then, um, you know, hold on to two. That way, if price continues to go up, I can sell another one and still hold on to one. That, that should say how much I actually enjoy this coin uh, because I never get three of anything. I always get twos. But this one, I want to ensure that I have one for myself or maybe one for a gift for somebody or something like that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about these Chiwoos. Did, were you able to get any? They're probably sold out now. Um, I know that these things fly off the shelves and they were really quite hard to get, but there could be some more coming um, for other online retailers that maybe they haven't just put up for sale yet or something. So don't lose hope if you didn't get any, uh, that you might have a chance to grab these. And if you do have a chance to pick one of these up, I would definitely recommend it because the 2016 version of this coin is already at $100. And so you be the judge. You can you can speculate all you want about how high you think these will go, but I think that they will. You know, I think this is at least a fifty dollar coin. Um, after some some hype has been generated, you know, at least it's at least a swan. Okay, so uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't um, and you do have a Steam it, then try to go find me on Steam it. Um, I'll put a link in the description. If not, don't even sweat it. I really appreciate having you guys here. And yeah, thanks for all the support recently.